I forgot. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. The, yeah, it's like AA. Yeah, I got you. All right. Whew. So tangent. All right. So we got sine of u, sine of u, and sine of v. Um, those are all going to be kind of same. It's very similar. You're just going to be going like tangent is going to be a little bit difficult. So we just need to go through one of these. Um, to do a tangent problem, the same exact thing. I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time because we just already did evaluate for these. But we remember that our two points were at, what, well, we had 30 degrees, which was square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. And then we found 225 degrees was at the point negative square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. Right? OK. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to plug in our formula. Same thing. We understand what our u minus v is. So now we're going to apply it. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> so what we have is tangent of 225 minus 30. And if you guys don't mind, this is going to take a little bit of work. So I'm actually going to apply. I'm just going to separate it thin. So tangent of 225. Oh, actually, never mind. We actually, let's go through this. So we'll have tangent of 225 minus the tangent of 30 divided by 1 plus tangent of 225 times tangent of 30. Now, you guys don't, are going to have to write all of this stuff out. But you guys, I just want you to see it so you can see how I'm applying this stuff in there. Now, we need to figure out what the tangent was. Well, cosine and sine were pretty basic, right? x, y coordinate. Well, now we're dealing with y over x. So what is the tangent of pi thirds? So the tangent of pi over 3 is going to have 1 half over, it's pi over 6. See, it's getting crazy again. It's 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2, right? So then you cancel those out, so you're left with 1 over square root of 3. Rationalize the denominator, which you guys should be very sick of. So yes, you get square root of 3 over two, 3. Then if I wanted to do the tangent of, why am I doing pi over 6 is 30 degrees? 225 degrees. Well, that's going to be equal to the square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 2 over 2. And the x is negative. So that just equals negative 1. OK? Remember, it's the y over the x. They are both negative. Thank you. I'm trying to get through this row too quickly. So does everybody see how what I just did, taking your y over your x? That's the main important thing. So now, let's plug them in. So the tangent of 225 degrees is 1 minus the tangent of, tangent of 30, which is going to be the square root of 3 over 3, over 1 plus the tangent of 225 degrees, which is 1 times the tangent of 30, which is square root of 3 over 3. Now, you guys understand that 1 times square root of 3 over 3 is just square root of 3 over 3, right? So we don't really need to write the 1 there. All right, so now what do I do? So now I have this answer. Well, first thing is we have a, we have a fraction in our denominator, right? So let's get rid of our fraction. So I'll multiply by 3 over 3. Now that's going to leave me with, uh, by applying distributive property, that's going to leave me with 3 minus the square root of 3 over 3 plus the square root of 3. I multiplied both the top and bottom by 3 to get the 3 off the denominator. Huh? Then we have to rationalize the denominator. Don't you guys love tangent already? Okay, I'm going to go up here because I'm running out of space. So what we have up here, this is not a difference of two squares. We need to FOIL this. So this is going to be 9 minus 2 square root of 3. 3 times 3. I got to multiply every term by every term. I thought you were just going to do three and then two. Well, I'll explain that in a second. So first of all, we got to do three times three, which is nine. And then I did three times, oops, I messed that up. 
3 times negative 3 is going to be negative 3, square root of 3. 3 times negative 3 is going to be a negative 3, square root of 3. Negative square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 is going to be a positive square root of 3 squared, which would be 9. So therefore, over down here, I have what we call a difference of two squares. So this is the same thing, but now since one is positive, one's negative, I would get a positive version and I'd get, I would eliminate my middle term. So for this one on the denominator, I'm going to have 9. And here I'll have my, oh, well, that's not 3. That's um, 3 squared. That's going to be minus plus 3. Thank you. I knew it was something wrong. It's 3 up top, sorry. Negative square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 is going to be positive 3. Then 3 times 3 is 9. And square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 is going to be a negative 3. Set this equal to each other again. So now I have 9 plus 3 is going to be 12 minus um, 6 square root of 3 over 6. Now you look at this and say, what can you factor out? You can factor out a uh, 6, or no, you can't factor out, you can just divide out a 6, and you're just left with a 2 minus the square root of 3. <laughs> so, guys, you don't even. Oh my god, this is. Um, so, that's it. All right, now. That's it. That's all you guys have to do. So, if you guys want me to be nice to you. I did this for my other class, but you guys got to keep a secret because if you tell if you tell other students that you have an altered homework, then they're going to get mad at you, and then I'm never going to do it ever again for you. Okay, so the, my first class, my first class, had, had to do the homework assignment that's listed on the board. I will take away four problems from you if that's okay with you. But if you start telling other people about this and then I get co complaints for my first period, I'm not going to do it ever again. So do not worry about doing number 9 or number 11 or number 17 and 19. Okay? So your homework is still stands up there. Just don't worry about doing number 9, 11, 17, or 19. Everything else still stands. So I took off Technically, four pro or four problems. Technically, that's twelve problems because you're doing each problem three times. Wait, why are we doing each problem three times? The directions state find the exact values for the sine, cosine, and tangent of the angle. So you have to do sine, cosine, tangent for all of them. Sure. Page three. Eighty-seven. Page three. Eighty-four. Page three. Eighty-four. Page three. Yes. This homework assignment is not due by next class period, as you guys have your quiz. Your task. So, you want to check over? Okay, so I'm going to walk around and check over. Can I go to this? I like this. 